Assembling a crack team back in 2017, Zap operates outside of the UK, designing and manufacturing electric vehicles. Like many companies dipping their toes into the EV scene, they are serious about creating a greener future. It starts at the assembly plant and continues throughout the process until the product is in your hands. Its various creation values have led it to its first electric vehicle, the i300 electric scooter. So what makes the i300 special and stand out from its contemporaries? To answer that, let's talk briefly about the three variables you usually look at when discussing EVs. Price, range, and performance. Generally speaking, you can only have two. The third will be lacking. Do you want a powerful, long-range electric vehicle? You're looking at a hefty price tag more than likely. The i300 has a great price tag and some juicy performance, one of the rarer combinations these days. Let's start with performance. The i300 comes with two dainty 720-watt battery packs with a belt-drive electric motor with around 9.6 horsepower, with a peak of 20 horsepower. Although it's not much, you're looking at some pretty great torque at about 433 pound-feet at the rear wheel. As for speed, you're looking at a 0 to 30 in about 2.2 seconds, or a 0 to 60, its limited top speed, in about 4.8 seconds. Let's talk about the range now. If you squeeze it for what it's got, you're looking at around 37 miles. That isn't even enough for the average commute in the US, but the bright side is that the battery can charge from 28% to 80 in about half an hour. It also makes for a pretty fantastic toy given the speed and charge time, if that's what you're interested in, but you'll want to keep to the roads for this one. If you want one for yourself, you're looking at a pretty good price tag at around $7,000, with options for more stuff available. Following the Cheetak from Baja, we have Rihu, another company with a long history, except this time from Spain. Getting their start in 1934, Rihu moonlit with bicycle parts manufacturing. Interestingly enough, Salvador Dali's father was a notary and certified the Rihu name during World War II. Their vehicle manufacturing days began, and a few years later, their first motorcycle was made. Of course, by today's standards, that motorcycle would be classified as a moped. But that's splitting hairs. Today, they make anything with two wheels, including motorcycles, mopeds, and you guessed it, scooters. One of those scooters, the Nuke Urban 8.5, is the one I'd like to talk about. The Nuke Urban 8.5 is a motorcycle-adjacent pavement plower with inverted forks and wave brake discs with a combined braking system. In the back of the bike is a rear monoshock absorber. Rihu worked closely with Bosch to develop a whopping 8-kilowatt motor for this inconspicuous trailblazer. I'll bet you're just dying to know how fast this thing can go. And the top speed sits around the 72-mile-per-hour range. Rihu says you can expect a range of roughly 75 miles, but that can be extended considerably to 174 miles if you have multiple batteries. Those are some pretty good numbers for a low-maintenance and green-friendly electric scooter, but the $8,500 price tag is set to match. Following a theme of world betterment, Fanco is next up on the list. They say they are passionate about electric bikes and scooters and that the world must evolve to utilize transportation like them. Not only is it a cleaner direction, but it is also just more fun for Fanco. Indeed, if this wasn't the case, then we wouldn't be seeing such a significant boom in the e-scooter market. From this fire-filled company, we get the City Coco M8. This very auspicious looking electric scooter looks like you could pop beer tops off with it. I'm always a sucker for the fat tire design myself too. Stability, aesthetics, and off-road power are all pluses in my book. And speaking of power, what is the power of this triangle on wheels? Well, a three kilowatt motor is strapped to this thing with a max power output of five kilowatts. 
With that, the City Coco M8 can push out a max speed of 45 miles per hour, which isn't too shabby. With the 60 volt battery, the City Coco M8 is looking at a range of around 55 miles with a single charge. That's not all though, because this model has a quick swap battery design, allowing easy two way charging. If you're interested in the City Coco M8, you're looking at $2,200. UBCO may not be a familiar name in the electric motorbike industry. Still, their innovation over the past few years has started to get the attention of riders worldwide. Formed in 2015 in New Zealand by Daryl Neal and Anthony Clyde, the pair felt there was room in the market for an electric, two-wheel drive utility vehicle. They set out building prototypes of what would eventually become the UBCO 2x2. The concept won numerous awards and UBCO would go on to develop and release a range of innovative multi-wheel drive electric motorbikes for commercial use. First up is the UBCO 2x2 Adventure, built for those who hate traffic jams but love getting out amongst nature. Featuring two 1000 watt electric motors and a choice between a 2.1 and 3.1 kilowatt battery, this well-built motorcycle can get up to speeds of 30 miles per hour for a maximum range of 78 miles on the bigger battery. Next up, the UBCO Work 2.2, designed purely for off-road riding. While it comes with the same power strap to the frame, the Work enjoys 17 by 2.75 inch off-road knobby tires. Like the Adventure, the Work can come with a 2.1 or 3.1 kilowatt battery option, but unlike its urban cousin, the Work isn't road registerable. And if the retro style is your thing, UBCO also teamed up with menswear brand Three Wise Men to create the UBCO Wise Men Edition. The same UBCO design paired with stylish leather trimmings and custom gloss black features. While UBCO is based in New Zealand, they do have retailers all across the US and ship worldwide. Gorelli Motorcycles have been building quality mopeds and motorbikes in Italy for over 100 years. Founded in 1919 by Adalberto Gorelli, the iconic brand has branched out into the ever-growing electric motorbike industry with the Cyclone range. The Cyclone E4 Soul has a unique minimal design, pastel painted frame, yet still pays homage to the famous Gorelli scooters of the 60s and 70s. Bolted to the steel carriage is a 72-volt lithium-ion battery capable of powering the 4-kilowatt-hour rear brushless motor to a top speed of 43 miles. The Urban model focuses on stability and comfort, with added rear dumper monoshock hydraulics with adjustable gears. Oh, and there's the iconic red and black bodywork, synonymous with the Gorelli brand. And finally, the Cyclone Cross represents the off-road version of the Italian brand's range. Featuring treaded off-road tires, a headlight with a protective grille, and all the powerful aspects of other Cyclones, the Cross is equal parts aggressive and retro. The perfect mix when braving the trail less traveled. If you enjoyed this video, you could help us out by hitting the like button, subscribe, and keep up to date on future posts.